Well, you should be concerned about what's going to come up next because the Sonon Asogli power plant shut down. Uh, it's one that is generating some concern. What exactly will that impact be and the implications for power supply in this country? That's one that we're going to spend some time on here on Ghana tonight. And uh, in fact, there was a statement that came through from the company uh, detailing reasons why. And that's what you see on the screen there, detailing reasons why they're going to have to do this. ECG owes Sonan Asagli net receivables of $259 million. This is excluding fuel as of the end of September 2024. And if you recall, about a month ago here on Ghana Tonight, I referenced the letter that was signed by Toby Athede, the 14, who owns Sonana Sogli. In fact, the foremost IPP in this country, indicating that this was going to happen if nothing is done. Well, we are at this point. So this letter by Sonana indicates that despite Sonana Sogli's decision not to invoice ECG for idle capacity, the debt owed has increased by 23% between January and September 2024, with only 22.6% of the invoices for that period settled through the cash waterfall mechanism. Son Nasogli has, over the years, been very considerate in its dealings with ECG and the government, and unlike other independent power producers, has not even invoiced ECG for accrued idle capacity charges. And despite this, ECG owes Sonan Asogli $259 million. Their debt has grown by 23% on the net balance between January 2024 and September 2024, and only 26.6% of the invoices have been on it. That's what's happening right now. And what will be the implication of this decision? that the company says they had no choice but to do this. In fact, over 560 megawatts of power is going to, actually has been lost in, in the national grid because of this. Dr. Kobna Donko is going to be talking to us after this quick break here on Ghana Tonight. Stay with us. Welcome back. This is Ghana Tonight. Let's get into the details of, in fact, the reactions to this development with Sonana Sogli Power shutting down uh, some, uh, that's his power plant due to some $259 million debt owed by ECG. We're going to lose, but in fact, some 560 megawatts of power as we speak to the national grid. Dr. Kavna Donko is pro East Member of Parliament and former Power Minister. Appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. What are the implications of this development as we're seeing right now? Well, we have two risks we face. Apart from the capacity of Sonon Asogli, slightly over 500 megawatts combined get, uh, going off, the possibility of contagion. If other IPPs decide to follow suit, the contagion effect will also be there. But fundamentally, fundamentally, this is a financial problem. In 2023, ECG made a net loss of slightly over 10 billion cities. In 2022, the loss was also around 10 billion cities. And so in terms of ECG's financial muscle, um, ECG is unable to meet its due obligations, and that is a challenge. But it is also important that we don't heap all the blame on ECG, particularly in terms of its losses, because the losses underpin its inability to meet his contractual obligations. If out of the about 10.2 billion CD loss in 2023, exchange losses alone exceeded 8 billion cities. So there is a broader problem of the macroeconomy, the fiscal regime. Mm. When an entity when an entity, about 80% of an entity's operating loss is attributable to exchange losses, 
That's then we have a challenge. So by this exchange losses, you mean the depreciation of the city against the dollar, essentially? Precisely. Precisely. The net effect on ECG for 2023 was slightly above 8 billion cities. So the managers of the macroeconomy have a hand in this, especially managers of monetary policy. They have a hand in this challenge. Of course, there is the inefficiency, there are the structural problems of ECG, and that the board of ECG has to take responsibility for. Because if you, if you, your operational and commercial losses are nearly 30% or around 30%, there's a challenge. Your markup in any business will not see 30%. So basically, we are under recovering cost. And financial sustainability is the biggest challenge of ECG today. Right. But uh, a quick one before we go. Because of this, are we going to experience interruptions in power supply? I mean, doom so in the coming days. Because uh, so, so now, so 560 megawatts to the national grid, that's a lot. Well, I don't know what you call doom so, but yes it will have impact on the availability of power. Because Tony Asogli is the single largest IPP. It's the single largest IPP. We can ramp up Akusumbu, we can ramp up Pong, but it will be challenging. It will be challenging, and fortunately, that impact will also be felt by all of us. Appreciate your time. And we'll see how the coming days will look like. Uh, Dr. Komina Donko is former power minister and member of parliament for the Pru East constituency. There's more news on 3news.com. Make some time and visit 3news.com. On behalf of the rest of the team, we appreciate your company here on Ghana tonight. I am Alfred Kansi. Have a good night.